with 35 submissions. Just, just absurd in the best way. Here we see Talita Lima in the white gi. And we are underway. This Diving is a, in. Oh, we have, a, I think, an accidental eye poke oh here. Oh, no. Straight back in. And how did that last match go like last time? Uh, you, yeah, because Pisania came out with the gold. I believe it was by points. I mean, her perfect record speaks volumes, right? I mean, there are a few people in the world who can even give her a competitive match, let alone beat her. It's really incredible, actually, you know. I think it's uh, the Gabi Pisanya era in jiu-jitsu. She has the size, she has the technique. It's a formidable combination. This is why she just racks up double golds and, you know, all the tournaments that she enters. Oh, big stack here from Pisanya. Oh, yeah, she's almost forced the, the roll to turtle, but Talita was able to get back up to her feet. Oh, little hip up sweep here. All kinds of threats from Gabby Pisani on display. She's one of the few black belts active on the world scene nowadays that has a really, really dangerous closed guard. You know, you don't see too many people use it. It's a kind of old-fashioned right but she's great at it she really has a, a very effective close guard Looking for an arm here. Comes oh, up on a sweep wow. instead. That was a really nice technique there. Again, a, a technique that we haven't seen for a long time. You just don't see people play the close guard game. And it's a very effective old school sweeping technique from the close guard. And look at that. She has no hooks in, but she has the collar choke active. Can't quite see if it's under the chin, but she does have double collar grips for the sliding collar choke from the back. Oh, but it's loose. Talita Silver is out. They're going to restart back in the center. Okay, restart in the close guard. Three advantages only to Gabi Pisanya. I thought actually, you know, considering what she's done in the match so far, three advantages is not much, is it? But yeah, that is uh, somewhat surprising. But, but, I mean, nothing's actually scored. Just, like you said, pretty, pretty dominant and a lot of activity. Right. Isolating the arm now here with this overhook. It's Gabby Pisania. An overhook and a body triangle. See Talita Lima though, not lacking in the strength department, picks up Gabby Pisania. Having caught that leg from the close guard, she's got a pant grip with her left hand. There it is. You can see that uh, base on the right side of Talita Silva is, is extremely compromised. You may see Gabi Pusanya hip bump up over, complete the sweep, or you may see her throw her legs up for a triangle, open the guard and go higher in the, the arm and the neck. And she's nearly up. You see her driving forward. Even trying to use that left foot to kick out the supporting hand of Talita Silva. 
She may be trying to sneak around to the back here. She is. She's looking for it. And there it is. It's the body triangle, though, so it won't score. She's going to need to go double hucks in. But she's going high. She's looking for the finish. She's not even worried about getting the hooks. Doesn't quite have optimal positioning. She's kind of off to the side. She could go for the armbar from here. Yeah, back into the close guard for Talita Silva. Another advantage for Gabby Pisanya here, four advantages. Talita Silva, uh, really, or Talita Lima rather, really doing a, a good job of defense, right? In some very dangerous spots, but being able to get back to somewhat of a neutral position. Yes. I think that um, one thing that Talita Silva has uh, going for her is that one of her main training partners at the Dream Art Academy in uh, Sao Paulo is Yara Suarez, who has gone head-to-head -head with Gabi Pisanya so many times. And if we look now, we bring this uh, image in, we have uh, an inset view of Gabi Pisanya's coach, Marcio Gideus, who has taken her from white belt to black belt world champion as Gabi Pisanya throws up a triangle. This is it. The match is almost over here. Talita Silva, though, manages to get her hand out oh i mean gabby Pisani is just in complete control she's got she's got talita on the back foot in every way there is izaki bayens team captain of the dream art squad and coaching talita in this absolute final talita already took gold in her way you may see a no arm triangle attempt here a uh, <laughs> quick, quick very quick look at one both of these ladies took gold in their weight divisions earlier today. But only one can take this absolute gold medal. And four advantage lead for Gabi Pisania. I think you know which way it's going. Some lapel action from uh, Talita Silva here. It's around the leg, it seems. Lots of spectators here in the Institut du Judo here in Paris, France. Oh, this is this is bad news for Talita Silva. Gabi Pisania has passed the leg across. Smash pass position. Hooks the foot in the back. Of the, oh, almost hooks the foot in the back of the thigh. That's a good recovery there. Not out of uh, danger just yet, though. Gabi Pusani clears the legs. She's chest to back. Left hook has gone in. She's oh, looking for the second one. Oh, I'm so impressed by uh, Talita Silva's resilience here. But she risks going into a fully locked on triangle here. That was smart. Gabi Pisania set the trap. She set the trap from the back. She set up this triangle attack here. Hard to see if she's got the right angle to finish this. It could be a slow burn. Oh, she's going for the arm as well here. That looks like it could be fully extended here in short order. She's going high, TP choke style. Talita Silver is so tough to withstand this, but there is the tap. Gabby Pisaya with the submission in the absolute final. Double gold champion in Paris at the 2023 European Championships.
There it is, makes it official. Gabi Pisani, the champion here in Paris.